Well, I might have faxed to Mars. And now we all know about the demonetization of videos and YouTube uh, video makers are threatening to leave in droves. Probably some of them already have, I would think. But uh, the reason isn't to make the videos advertiser friendly. That's Balderdash. That is a big pile, you know what. <laughs> I'm going to show you what the real reason is. I think most people will agree with me, <laughs> the few that actually watch my videos. Go ahead and spread this video around, by the way. Don't worry about copyright, alright? Let's be clear on that. So, I go up there and I click YouTube Red. YouTube Red, uninterrupted music, ad-free video, videos, and more. Try it free for the first month, $9.99 afterwards. Uninterrupted music, ad-free and offline video, original shows. So basically, YouTube is cashing in. But... They can't maintain the uh, free side of things if they want to cash in, because most people are just going to go to the free stuff and they're not going to pay for it. So what they got to do is they drive people who are making, hardworking people who are making a living out of here. I don't know what you'd have to do to be on YouTube right. I would have no idea. But I'm assuming you pay a hefty price. I get almost no views, so huh, demonetizing my videos only angers me. It doesn't really do anything other than it pisses me off. So let's take a look at the other. Let's take a look at one other thing that has cropped up lately. See, I knew that YouTube Red was trouble when I saw it. I instinctively knew that was trouble. And here it is, YouTube TV, $35 a month, live TV streaming from the Alphabet channels, popular cable networks, cloud DVR with no storage limits, I vaguely know what a DVR is, I would have no idea how to use one, but that's a not a gadget, it's a cloud thing. Which means I really have a, I have no vague idea of how to use it. But that, but that as it may, $35 a month, cancel any time. Uh, well, right here you go. I mean, what else do you need to see, folks? You see, they have to drive the free content creators off YouTube, because that's going to cut into their uh, pay business that they're introducing. This is the real reason why they're doing this. It's not to make that the uh, videos advertiser friendly. It's not, I don't believe, even to drive conservatives off as much as it is to promote their business. They want to make YouTube into a pay TV thing. A paid thing where in order to watch videos, you have to pay for them. And in order to do that, they have to drive the free content creators off. You know, there'll be some channels left. Probably ones that cough up money. I don't, I don't know. I do what I do 
to try to inform people, even though I don't get any views, and uh, have and just basically to have fun razzing on liberals and things. But right here you go. Here's your reasons. They want to drive the free people who, who are content creators. They want to drive us off YouTube in order to promote their turn it into a pay a paid service instead of a free service. That's where this is at. Like I said, some of these channels probably cough up big money to put their stuff on YouTube and get it promoted. Uh I can think of like the uh seven girls franchises, seven super girls, seven perfect angels and so forth. That's probably an example. They get over 2 million views for uploading absolute nonsense videos. There you go, folks. It's all about the money. For the most part, I know they're censoring conservatives too, but liberals are getting hit too. It's not conservatives only that are getting hit. When I saw liberals were getting hit, I knew... Well, I knew this was trouble. I knew the uh, YouTube rev was trouble when I saw it. But you can't compete with free, folks. That's where it is. I'm Artifacts Mars. Anybody care to dispute me, go ahead, right ahead and try. But if not, then take this video, distribute it. Any way you want. Don't worry about copyright, because there isn't any. Take it, distribute it, any way you want. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.